Aries, welcome back to my channel. We're getting right into your November monthly love reading, Aries. Ooh, we have the Queen of Souls. So your guard is up, um, Aries. You're waiting for an apology here. There's waiting. Why? The chariot is in reverse, the seven of swords is in reverse. Two of one is in reverse, the hangman is in reverse. You're waiting on an apology, or you're not even like waiting on this person, right? Um, for some of you, your ultimate goal is this ten of cups, right? For the month of November, you're gonna start to wish for this, start to manifest this, start to go towards this. It's just some things that you need to clear out here, Aries, that we're going to get through. Now, this could be a cancer causing this kind of stagnation, right? Because there's some pain that you're recovering from that you're getting over. There's cancer, uh, water sign energy, Scorpio, and Pisces. There's Sagittarius here. Your aim for this month is balance, you know, and it's to work on that balance, right? Temperance is coming in to, to help you understand that patience is key right now, right? This is a period of healing for you with the Ace of Wands to clear these disappointments out with the Eight of Cups, walk away from things that are no longer serving you so the sun here can rise again, right? And that's why the Ten of Cups is showing up. Right now, you know, we have the Eight of Cups and the Ten of Cups. The Nine of Cups is not right here because for the month of November, Spirit wants you to seek that wish fulfillment within with the Nine of Cups. Only you can do this. There is a nine of cups that wish fulfillment, but in order to do this, the ace of wands needs to be up, needs to be upright, right? Focusing on your self love, self care, those goals that you've been trying to obtain, but this relationship has kind of um, pushed those goals, right? So it's time to evaluate what you want. There's also an energy coming in to where, um, you know, you guys haven't talked. I'm getting for some seven weeks to seven months here, all right? There's honeymoon. Enjoy the holiday, enjoy the bliss of holiday time together and give your, your, yeah, your relationship a chance working on your partnership. This could be around Thanksgiving where this person might come in and uh, attempt to try things with you here. And I feel like you're going to be kind of... Um, Larry on this because it's like you had me you lost me you want me back well what is it like what's going on here so we're gonna see you know it's kind of like you, the, the universe is pushing them to come towards you and give you this apology you know remember at the beginning of the reading there's an apology that you want you're still kind of pissed off here Aries rightfully so we have Pisces energy the moon card of terror there is a full moon lunar eclipse on November 8th that weekend is going to be extremely powerful there's a Virgo energy that is coming out of isolation and um I guess being hidden, so to say, they're, they're, they're coming out to talk to you here. Wow. Okay. A lot wanted to come out. We have date, karmic relationship wanted to come out, girl talk. What is going on, Aries? Um, they're coming out from hiding. This Virgo could have just gotten out of a karmic relationship. Um, I actually want to say not too long ago. So use your discernment on this, all right? Just because this person broke up with this karmic and they're coming back to date you, you know, take this period to spend time with friends, moving on, happy, single, living in the moment because this person needs to step up. You have to make them work for it, Aries, all right? It's the warning here. This person is going to come in. Um, for some of you around next week, you know, depending on this period of separation, seven weeks to seven months, right? But again, I'm getting like this person just got out maybe two months ago, too insignificant here. So again, use your discernment. You're moving on, dating, having fun with friends, living single in the moment, having fun here. And I feel like they're going to come in and um, you're you're going to be caught off guard, right? There's an error side again, wanting them to work on this and work on this, meaning communicating that clarifies some miscommunication. All right, there's a new start coming in for you, Aries, where... Some of you are going to have a new suitor, and it's going to be divine timing. This person is not going to be nothing like your past 555, I just saw. And um, you're going to be in conflict with yourself, all right? Remember who you are, Aries. We have Empress Energy. You are the divine feminine here. It's time to kind of um, balance yourself in regards to your masculine energy, right? For some of you, Aries. We have the Seven of Swords with this apology here. Yeah, there's communication coming in, but they know who... <laughs> You're so angry with this Queen of Swords. Your guard is so up, and I feel like it's going to be a simple message. And it might just be like, hey, how are you doing? Or like, how's your day going? Something like that with that Page of Pentacles energy. You also have, for the month of November, find time to laugh, goof off, and enjoy each other. I feel like you guys are going to have a heart-to-heart. -heart. You guys are going to have fun. But I feel like, ultimately, Aries, you're going to actually release this person. This rejection is actually divine protection. Radical acceptance and surrender can help you let go. We have the Two of Wands with the Strength card, the Nine of Pentacles, and the Nine of Cups. There's that number nine wish fulfillment I was talking about, and look where it lands next to the Ten of Cups. Because in, because in November, the lessons is all about 
loving you and taking care of yourself. Your boundaries up. You know this, Aries. And you know you never want to go through a period where someone is taking advantage of you again that, you know, kind of has your eyes blindfolded, right? So it's like you're going through a period of healing, Aries. Any advice here? And it's going to come in very fast. You're going to get a major epiphany this month. We have for Ariel, what you give, you also receive, being resistant to change. Exactly. Extremes in how you save or spend money, be mindful in spending, you know, trying to heal. We have the force. There's stability, security that you need to gain within. It's time to seek out also other possibilities, Aries. Look for the passion in life and be aware of your own emotions. Yep. We have 444 four, four equals the eight of swords. All right. That, that's how you're going to clear out your head. There's that clarity. Look at spirit getting, I'm getting ahead of the cards. <laughs> we have clarity, truth, revelation, solidarity, force, honor, protection here. And then we have Cupid's arrow, half faith, love is coming. Yep. Surprise, invitation, meeting, or hesitation. Because your ten of cups is coming, right? There's a shift that's coming in once you do the healing. Look at that. 10, 10, angel number, high priestess card. Exactly, Aries. Love is on its way. Love is on its way. There's the four. Yep. New beginnings here. Once you walk away from things that are no longer serving you, we go from the fours to eight of cups and the eight of wands. Follow my advice. Right? Then I just say this, you know, it's time to work on your masculine energy right now. We have the, the Empress clarified the three of pentacles in reverse. Like I said, your, your Empress energy is already high. It's time to balance things out and work on your masculine energy. And look at this. We have the Six of Swords here showing upright and the Six of Swords in reverse Aries. Here's your Aries energy. Once you um, follow this path in this reading, look what happens. And action starts coming. So very beautiful energy, Aries. I mean, you it's all about free will for this month of November. You're going to have to decide in what you truly want, Aries, all right? I'm going to leave it there, guys, and have a wonderful week.